Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of The Streak. We are going for our 50th win and of course, of course, as is tradition, we get another hard character for our uh, for our last one of The Streak. We got Keeper. Uh, he's not the hardest ever, but he can be tricky. Um, we have known him to be and um, he scares me quite a bit, but, but we can do it. We can do it. We know we can. Let's take out the hands first. They're a little more annoying. And then let's... Charm the two of you, so you attack each other. Makes life easier. Then we'll do the same with you guys. There you go. Life's but a breeze when you do that. Life is but a breeze. And we get an amazing item that is pretty dangerous, um, but I love it. Fruitcake is fantastic. I absolutely love Fruitcake as an item. Like I said, it is a little dangerous. Um, it does have a little bit of risk associated with it, but overall, as an item, I think it's very, very top tier. And... Compared to the amount of times it hits you, it's not super high, so we should be okay. And early, this early on, Fruitcake is like an insane damage increase. Like, absolutely insane. But what are you doing over here, big lad? What are you doing over there? I'll leave those pit pennies there in case we need them. Pick that up. Boss straight away here. We did indeed get a thingy there. A nice little penny on the floor. I don't like the fact that you're sat on top of a rock right now. I, I can't hit you properly like that. Oh. <laughs> Immediately for us in there. That was pretty good. And we got another penny out of that as well. Oh god, there are some shenanigans going on right now. Easy. Fruitcake is amazing. Unfortunately, we do get... A bit of a bit of a silly item there to give us in a HP up that we can't utilize. It's a bit sad. But it is what it is. Oh hello, Troll Bomb, how are you? I'd like to grab my penny and leave, thank you. Right, uh secret room we want to definitely look for here. Ooh, beautiful. The shop becomes more viable now. Take a look in the shop, shall we? I don't actually think that's worth buying. Because we can go to the Devil Deal and, and buy items from the Devil Deal, right? So, I think it's worth sticking around for Devil Deal. Right, Secret Room is pretty obvious, I think. No, it's not. Okay. Um, okay. It's not as obvious as I once imagined. So, where are we thinking? Where are we thinking? Here, maybe? There you go, baby. It's a nice bit of extra stuff. We like it. Probably should have utilized that charge key a mob. Uh, well, right. Okay, we are good to go. We can lead to the next floor. I love the fact that Fruitcake has an animated effect. It's really nice. Right, okay, next floor. Feeling confident so far with our item and stuff like that. Pop in here. Okay. Bottle of shampoo is very good here. Uh, but I'll, I'll come back for that because our devil deal might end up being better. I will, however, buy this card in the hope that it's something good. Yeah, it is. It is. We can we can utilize that on the boss to do some pretty crazy damage. Yes. Yes, boss. Okay. Uh, let's also try and make sure that we utilize our... Um, utilize our active item whenever possible. As for the question of the day, this... What this is a bit of a strange question, but what what is your like ideal amount of money to live com comfortably? What do you think is like the uh, the the right amount of money to be able to live comfortably? Obviously, it changes from place to place, but like I'd say like in the UK, like forty to fifty thousand is like you'd be able to basically be fine doing whatever you want. That's that that to me is enough, which is crazy because like in America that's like not even close to enough. <laughs> in America it's like eighty thousand or something. It's rough. It's rough out there. But it, it's obviously different for different people because comfortability is is different to different people as well. Uh, unfortunately, not great there, but we'll take it. It is better than it used to be, but it's it's not it's not great. We like extra pennies there. Makes the shampoo bottle more viable, potentially. You gotta stop moving, my guy. Right, boss time. Oh, dude. You got me. You got me. 
Devil Deer will check out. Oh, you bastard. Okay. Well, this is good because this is a revive. We'll take that. But that is just... That would have been insane if we could have, if, if we could have grabbed that. I should have grabbed the money. I, I, I didn't even think about, like, the fact that... You watch, this will be the spinning coins one, were it? No, it's not. Um, We wouldn't be able to grab it if I'd have grabbed all the money, you watch. Damn it. It's really annoying. And a sticky nickel there as well. Wasn't expecting that. Damn, I wouldn't have been able to afford it. That's that's really dumb of me. It's still, it's fine. Getting the little Onk dude is great as well, because now we have a revive in case things really go quite wrong. We like having that bit of backup. And we'll go buy the uh, the shampoo bottle as well. So getting the shampoo bottle is also quite nice. It's not it's not all too bad there. It's not all too bad. Right. Um, we'll grab that. Good bit of fire rate. Actually, a very good bit of fire rate. Damn. It's a huge fire rate increase. Um, check that out. Lovely. Aha, oh, this annoys me. I really should have explored more before I went to the boss, uh, the thingy room here. The devil deal. Very much my bad. This will be a damage down for now, but it won't be for forever. And honestly, with fruitcake, actual damage stat doesn't matter that much. Because it's all about the effects that we're putting on enemies. There you go. But it's one of those items that, like, right now it's not great, but it scales up pretty quickly. And we'll get out of here. Yeah, a little bit annoying there. That, that Sinner's Heart thing would have been absolutely fantastic if we could have got it. I didn't even think about the fact that you really should be going into the Devil Deals with 30. If I'd have thought about that, that, that would have been a very different story for us. We would have been sitting on cloud nine. But, fruitcake, as I said, will carry. We do not need to worry about our damage, really. At least for a little while. Fruitcake will be our saving grace. It will be our hero, baby. Really shouldn't be picking up all the pennies. Just in case we need them. Bit of a... Strange room here. Destroyed the mushroom there, like that. Oh, turned you into a poop as well. Beautiful. And we've got almost enough money for a shop item or another devil deal anyways. Hopefully we can just keep getting more and more devil deals. I'll make our life easier. More devil deals coming my way would be lovely. But yeah, I, I think in terms of like the question of the day I was just talking about then, like living life comfortably is very different for different people. But for me, it's just like be like I'm actually in a pretty good spot where I am now. I don't I don't earn as much as I was talking about, but um, I earn enough to like be reasonably happy. And I'm in a position where oh, this is amazing. Uh, I'm in a position where um, when oh, very good item there as well. Um, where basically it's it's always where I've wanted to be. Where basically I can. I, I'm, I'm good enough at saving, good enough with my money, that I can kind of go out for an expensive meal and not have to be like, oh shit, how much is left in my account? Can I afford this? And I can do that, like, basically whenever I want without it being a, a worry, which is, like, an ultimate goal for me. So I'm very happy that I've reached that point in my life at, like, what, I'm like 26? So I'm pretty happy with that. Not often people reach that point. But it's also partially because I am quite good with saving money. Um, ooh, we have to take habit. It's too good. It's too good not to. It's simply too good. We might not be able to get a devil deal if we, uh, if one pops up here, but ha habit is just too good to not take. And also, yeah, um, Mysterious Liquid here is a great grab. Beautiful. We didn't even get one anyways. Cool. And we actually got this as well. I'm actually interested in getting this guy leveled up. Right. Secret room we can't go for. We didn't get any bombs that floor. And there was a boss, uh, mob trap room, but we didn't have any bombs for that either. Bit of a shame. Didn't mean to immediately pick that up, but there you go. I'll leave one penny there. Yeah, I love the fact that we can turn these into gold, although that one, for some reason, didn't give us any money. I didn't know that was plausible. Ah, bugger you. 
I suppose I could actually farm for money, like, using my active. Because obviously if I get a nickel or a dime, I gain money. But it's obviously a pretty, pretty difficult one to actually, like, sit there and farm for a while. Ah, bugger you. Just missed that one there. We got one of them there, but only gained an actual penny out of it, not much. Hello, Ferryman. Ferryman could be interesting. I think I'm more interested in keeping my money right now, but... Ferryman, I do not mind you. You are not bad. I wonder if we can insta-kill this guy with certain types of tears. Probably, I'd imagine. Good stuff. We're getting reasonably lucky with our payouts from our active so far. It's not been the worst. I've had it much worse. Leech, I don't know if Leech can heal this character. I, I actually haven't, I've never tested that theory. So I'm unsure if that works or not. So we we can just pretend it does and hope for the best. But I don't know if it actually will. Hello, I don't know where you came from, Mr. Birdie. I'll accept you, but I don't know where you came from. We're gathering quite a lot of money though. Like I said, our active is paying out a good amount. But yeah, I just, I just have so many friends and like so many people I know that are in situations where whenever we want to go out for a meal or whenever we want to go out on a night out or whenever we, we want to do anything, they're like, oh shit, but I don't get paid until next month, uh, until like two weeks or I don't get, I, I, I'm going to have to move some money around. That just seems stressful as shit to me. Like, I understand s s other, like certain people are in situations that they can't help, but a lot of these people are in similar jobs to me and earning similar money to me and I just... People need to be more careful with their money, man. <laughs> like, I don't want to judge, but some people can be really bad with it. I mean, I mean, I am in a somewhat privileged position because I came out of university with some savings and my parents did a very good job of teaching me how to save. Not everyone has that. So that I, I do know that in certain ways I am, like, privileged in that. But also... Once you're, like, an adult, you need to learn how to do that yourself. I, mean, I wouldn't say it's, like, everyone, but there is a few people I know that are like that. Um, and it, is, it, is, it just stresses me out for them. It's not even me that it's affecting, it still stresses me out. Right, can we get up to 30 cent before the, uh, before the devil deal? Also, I like the fact that we got this trinket. Ow. Oh, there you go. Right up to 30 cent. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, and up to 40. Lovely. Wasn't expecting that. Right, beautiful. Oh my god. The game's been generous right now. Where did you come from? Are we going to get a devil deal here? No, we're not. God damn it. Oh, do the Golden Hearts even do anything for us? Oh, they do. Okay. They do work. That's nice. Um, right. Are we good to go? I think we're good to go. Okay. We're, we're, we are very prepared for the next Devil deal, which I'm happy about. We could have done the Ferryman, I guess, on this floor, but what's done is done. I kind of rather keep my money for Devil deals and stuff. Oh my lord. I really should have not picked up money then and checked if Leech can heal me. Be really good to know if he can, because if he can, he's a very strong thing to have as this character, but I'm I'm leaning towards the fact that he can't. Okay. We have tons of money now because of these golden hearts. It's very, very nice. I'm not sure if I left one of the golden hearts in the uh, in the curse room there. I don't think I did. Yeah, we are in a very good spot now. The fact that I have Nun's Habit is making me feel way safer about this run as a whole as well. Right, 72 pennies. At this point, we can leave a lot of our money on the floor as safety. We don't need to be picking it all up. There's a bit of freezing on you there. What's what's left in this room? 
Oh. <laughs> that was so delayed. Just kind of dropped out the ceiling out of nowhere. He did the whole Gibby thing. Gibby! To be fair, actually, there's a, there's a half decent chance. Okay, no. <laughs> I guess there's a half decent chance the room's fucking called that with a meme is from Fiend Folio, but it's not. Hmm. Freezing all the enemies in the room is not a bad idea. There you go. Makes life a bit easier, doesn't it? Ooh, I do not like this. Luckily, the game sorted it out quite swiftly for me. Ah, oh, dude, this this is a really good build we got going on right now. We are in a very good spot, and I really like the fact that we got this ex explosive trinket as well. Tank boys, tank boys can be detrimental. It can hit you, but overall, it's pretty decent. I'll take it. here. Yeah, tank boys, they can hurt you, but generally they don't. Generally, they're not that bad. Right. And they, they do do some good damage too, so we can't deny that. Where'd the teleporty guy go? Oh, no, he, he just teleported into death. Oh, buggy. Slightly annoying room there. God damn, do I love having Nun's Habit here. It's fantastic. Got this again for the boss room. Lovely. We do like Mum's Knife. Mum's Knife as a card is a good card. I like that. Oh, I turned the poop into poop. <laughs> Become more poop. I'm kind of hoping we get more Dr. Fetuses. Uh, whatever, the, whatever you want to call them. Beat us in a jazz. I want to see what this guy does when he gets uh, when he gets to max level. I've not seen that before, and I, I'm very intrigued. I've only seen him get to level 2, and even level 2 he seemed pretty good. But I would love to see max level of this dude to see what he can do. Right. Extra penny there. Shopper can actually buy something from if there's anything good. This is worthwhile. We'll grab that. It's very, very good to get shop purchases at the start of every floor. Good, good. Okay, we're ready. Oh, luck penny there as well is rather nice. We pop that down. We repent. Yeah. Nice and easy on that guy. Unfortunately, not the best of items there, but it is more luck, I guess. And then in here, we did get two very good items. Ayabalor is very, very nice. In fact, what does Ayabalor do again? Monster in the room with the lowest HP takes more damage from your attacks. Yeah, there you go. And then Star of the Bottomless Pit we know is good. We also got Leviathan out of that, so we got some flight now as well. Was not expecting to get Leviathan so early, but I'm very happy to have it. What was actually contributing towards it? Leviathan... I don't know. I don't know what's contributing towards Leviathan here. Maybe Ayabalor and uh, Leech. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Uh, we didn't get anything good on this floor, unfortunately, in terms of items there. But having flights really nice, and then enemies dying, giving us um, locusts, and then all of our um, blue flies that we get from hearts turn into locusts as well. And then I Balor, as you can see, doing some good stuff. Wow, I was going to teleport into the secret room there, and it was like, nope, don't, don't bother. Don't bother. Um, I think I'm going to go for luck and speed here. Rather nice. Then yeah, I've got my moon card for the next floor, I guess. Yeah, we are in a good position at the moment. Sitting very pretty. Another moon card there. We do not need two. Although, actually, I guess we could... Uh, I guess we could get into here for free. We've got plenty of keys, and this is worth it. Let's see if we get any items. Unfortunately not. Not the worst thing in the world, though. Yeah, I love this run with Fruitcake. There's our missile going off there from our little tank boy. He does his thing, and he does it beautifully. I will not complain about him. There's another one. 
Oh, dude. <laughs> Chill out, man. Chill out. Still a little wary of this run, regardless. It's good, but things could still go awry, so I'm still on edge a little bit. Every time the Fiend Folio error on this room. Golden keys here. We can just open all these up and see what we get. Obviously, we get all pills. Ten burn orbitals is pretty good. Ooh, a cult is obviously really nice. And we'll, uh, we'll pop a few bombs in here. Ah, no golden poops. That's all we're hoping for in that scenario. Beautiful stuff there. We'll just take that. Oh, damn. Oh, you got moved, I see. Item room, what do you hold for me? Oh, peppermint is so good. Freezing fires and the fires block shots as well. Obviously, it scales with luck, so we're not going to be firing a ton of them. Saying that, I did just fire four. Uh, King Baby doesn't really float my gut. Not the best ever. Right, we've seen our item room, seen our shop. I think we're ready to leave this floor when we get the opportunity to. Oh, the mini rockets going off there. Beautiful. I like that key, thank you. We've got our little burn orbital sort of saving us here. Oh yeah, this is this is a just god tier run right now. I'm loving it. Okay, are we ready to go? Think that we are. Beautiful stuff. Easy kill. Check this out. Ooh, I don't know how nine lives works as this character. Cursed Eye is not good. Okay, that re-rolled them, but wait. I, I don't know how this works. That That's not correct. If I take that, I don't, I don't know. That's not meant to be hearts. That's meant to be money. So I don't know how to play this, because I definitely want Eye of Belial. Is there, is there a way that I can minus money off of myself? Is there a, a, is there a console command to minus money? Um, remove. No, I don't know if there is. I'm trying to think if there's a way to drain my money. Okay, I'm going to try this. Okay, give, um, give, give tithe. Go to the next floor. Let's check this out first. Nothing in there that I want right now. Right, to the next floor. And let's see if tithe takes at least 30 off of us. It didn't! God damn it! I was really hoping it would take a lot off me. Um, Remove Tithe. Okay, I'll just accept that I'm not getting that item. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Basically, what I wanted to do there, what I was trying to do, is remove 30 cent off of myself and then give myself Eye of Belial, because it should be a money cost thing. It's just the modder who created that hasn't accounted for the keeper. Um, but it should be a, a money cost. So I was going to take 30 cent off myself and give myself Eye of Belial. But apparently, um, I don't have a way of removing that money from myself. So I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to accept, accept my fate of not having that item, unfortunately. It is a shame, but... The run itself isn't exactly in need of it, so... Our damage is still really rough, actually. Damage is still not very good at all. Did not want that trinket, obviously. Another dime there, lovely. It's good for a holy mantle, at least. Yeah. That's just unfortunate. I was wondering if it would re-roll them all, and it did, but... Didn't work the way I thought it would. And I, th I think genuinely taking one of those hearts would actually put us down to one coin heart. So... 
not taking that. That's not how that's meant to work. Oh, my holy mantle's gone already. I wasn't expecting that. I just can't believe, like, we've not got any damage ups in this run still this good. I'm hoping we do get a damage up at some point here, but you never know. Full reroll. Well, this is nice. Um, not super useful. I'll just take that, I think. Ooh, almost walked into that then. Almost. I do not want to reroll this run. It's very good. <laughs> Despite my damage being pitiful, I told you Fruitcake would carry. Algis is very, very nice as a just backup plan for down the road a ways. Don't know when I'll use it. I might not even have to, but it's just there as a just in case. Yeah, you see how we've like barely hurt ourselves at all with Fruitcake? We've done it like one or two times, but not been that bad. Oh man. The fires. The icy peppermint fires are just unreal. And of course, we get a goddamn HP up again. Okay, a lot, of, a lot of missed potential on this run, is what I'm gonna say. A lot of missed potential. Guess we'll take that. Just die already, you freak. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Is that trinket better? I think it is. I think this is just a, a better trinket overall. Wait. There you go. Get the sparklies on my little active item there, lovely. Very bad hit there from me. Her throw. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go in here and take a pair throw with me. That'd be in. I'm going to say, take the pair throw with me in case I do get the item, then I can reroll if it's not what I want. I really hate the fact that it can spawn these guys in here. Luckily, it turned them into a poop, but it's, it's really unfair on the womb to get one of those dudes. Oh my lord. I got hit there apparently. I think that might have been my tank boy that got me there to be honest. Very plausibly. Okay. Doing a good job of getting through these pretty easily. Let's see what the last one is. Okay, nice. We got the item. See if we want to pair throw it. In fact, we do. Good, good. Hey, and we got something pretty good out of it as well. Nice. Pretty happy with that, especially the damage increase. Finally, a damage increase. <laughs> We've been waiting a while to get that. Feel good about that, though. Feel good about that. Our little shop buddy here has been kind of useless. He's not really given us anything great so far. Just keep speeding along to the boss, I think. Arcade here could be good. Extra range. Nice. Unfortunately, not a great arcade. Although, contraband. Algies are an item. I honestly think the algies is worth more, unfortunately. The item could be good, but it could just be terrible. The algis for just, like, if we get in trouble, if, like, things go down, is super, super nice. Magician, no thank you. God damn. Peppermint is so goddamn good. I think it might actually be better than, um, than Ghost Pepper.
It might be better. So all of them deaded. Bit of extra money there. I don't think we need it, but if we get a devil deal that's got a 30 cent item and a 15 cent item, it'd be nice to have enough to get both. Getting a lot of locusts here as well. Okay, onto the boss fight. Did get a penny, lovely. Probably not going to be able to skip the last phase here. Oh no, we, we were very able to skip the last phase. Did not get a devil deal, unfortunately. Um, take the penny and we go up. Okay, we're on to the stressful part now, I think. this is the, the, These are the floors that can be pretty tricky. Um, I will take extra vision and I will take marbles in case I can take this trinket. Ooh, found soul. It's probably worth it, right? Yeah, found, found soul is probably worth it, right? As long as I can keep it alive, it's dead already. Well, I'll be swapping back now because it died instantly. Go into the fires. Yeah, we've got so many fires going on from our trinket to the actual peppermint fires as well. One second. Okay, now I'm just getting notifications from my Discord. It's fine. It's all good, people. It's all good. We actually can't believe, like, on our ran on like randomizing the characters, we've had the hard characters as our milestones, like, every time. Although I want to say this guy's super hard of a character, but he's, he's definitely he's definitely got a high risk associated with him if you don't get stuff like Nun's Habit. You're a big boy, but you gotta go. Holy mantle there. Rather nice for a little bit of extra. A little bit of extra saving grace. Ooh, instantly killed the invincible dude as well in that room. That's that's really nice. And oh my god, the fires just do an insane amount of damage. Unbelievable amount of damage. You good in this room? No, still one of you. And a ghost as well, I didn't expect a ghost as well. Secret room is, on these later floors, is just always, always him. I don't know what that is, I don't know what the deal with that is. It's just so crazy to like have 4.3 damage and be doing this much. But fruitcake plus peppermint is absolutely carrying us. You cannot deny its power. And here we go, here's the boss. Little worried about the boss. Use uh, a book to save it into the bookmark. Use a different active item. It's kind of an interesting idea. The good thing is we have a holy mantle. We have a penny. We can generate more pennies potentially. Um, and we have algis. So we should be fine. I'm just being worried for worry's sake. We're also killing stuff extremely quickly too. So on top of everything. And we're destroying shots with our fires. Although we didn't get any fires there unfortunately. That's a bit of a shame. Dude, where's all my fires at? I was firing so many before, and now that I need them desperately, it's like, no, no, no. Okay, Holy Mantle's gone. It's taking way longer than I hoped it would. There you go, we got it. Okay, right. Items on the next floor. What are we going to get given here? We got Mr. Dolly here, which I quite like. Very big fire rate increase. Oh, heal spur. Massive damage increase from 4 all the way up to 15. 
Blood Puppy. I don't think I'll take Blood Puppy just in case. But this, our damage has gone up a ton here. Because our fire rate has increased a hell of a lot. And our damage has increased a good amount too. So this has put us in a very, very good spot here. Our damage especially is just leagues and leagues beyond where it was. Absolutely demolishing the runes here. And the more fire rate means we're firing more, uh, what's it called? More fires, I'm pretty sure. My bad there. I need to not be sat over rocks. Sitting over rocks is just a bad idea. It's a weird room. I think this seems like the right way to the boss. What card we got here? Hermit, damn it. Not what I'm looking for right now. Bunch of mini Isaacs, I'll take. Give me that algiz. Come on, boss fight, where are you? It's gotta be this way somewhere. The sun. Receive for the floor. Damage, flight, and spectral. Converts hearts containers into burn hearts. Receive for the floor. Nice. Bit of bonus damage for the rest of the floor. I don't mind that. Right, this has to be the boss. Yes, it is. Good. Poisons to enemies in a small radius around Isaac. Why not? We did not get a penny. Oh, no, we did. We did. It's going to be super, super easy to get hit by random bullshit here. So, also keep moving for the extra damage. Yeah. Last phase. Here, we we'll just pop Algis, because why not? We're definitely going to kill him in under 20 seconds. And there you go, baby. 50 wins in a row. Oh my god. I'm excited. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.